Hello, welcome to Ask Don Anders, episode number five. And last weekend we got a comment on our Facebook page and they actually asked about what would the tax penalty be if they took option one for their drop money. Uh, we like to call it the I Love Uncle Sam option, but it's the 100% taxable option. So that's a great question and want to get into that because once again, I know we say this a lot, but it's based on your situation. Put it this way, drop is taxable, 100%. Meaning, if you make $100,000 between you and your spouse, so you make 50,000, your spouse makes 50,000, then you take out $150,000 on top of that, you made $250,000. So you have to look at your tax bracket for that amount. And the reason I use 150,000 is the average drop amount in the state of Florida is just over $141,000. So if you add that on to a couple's total income, then it's usually gonna throw them into another tax bracket. Now, if your drop amount's lower, and maybe it's just you and you don't have a spouse's income, it might not raise you into another tax bracket. Maybe it does make sense to go ahead and take it out and pay off some bills. So if you're thinking about taking that option one, if you're thinking about cashing out your drop amount or really any other retirement amount for that or retirement account for that matter if you're thinking about cashing out a 403b or a 401k uh, or you know we actually heard of people cashing out their entire pension doing the investment plan buying it out and cashing out the whole thing and having over a million dollars in income in a year so if you're thinking about doing those one talk to a financial professional because there's usually ways uh, that you can use like we talked about the parking account in the past episodes where you can put the money into the parking account and then systematically take it out over two, three, four, five years and keep that tax bracket down low. Or at least go talk to a tax professional and find out exactly how much you're going to have to withhold or exactly how much you have to keep in your bank account because what you don't want is April 15th to roll around and all of a sudden Uncle Sam wants an additional 15, 20, 30 thousand dollars. So, if you're thinking about cashing out retirement money, make sure you understand. There's not necessarily a tax penalty uh, as long as you're over the the qualified age, which is 59 and a half, 55 for some employer plans. Um, but if you're over those ages, there's not really a tax penalty. But you can throw yourself into another tax bracket, which if you could avoid that is essentially kind of like a penalty. So make sure you talk to either a financial professional or a tax professional, preferably both, before you make that decision.